Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is March 25th, 2019, almost April already. Holy moly. Uh, just about 8 p.m. here on the West Coast and taking a look at, uh, well, some live feed earthquake data coming in to the live seismograph stations there. Relatively quiet. Um, some still spiky activity occurring up near Seattle, Washington. Uh, and I'll go with that here in just a minute or explain some more of that in a minute uh, Taking a look at the California Nevada most recent earthquake map a relatively quiet activity as well Nothing really stands out at the moment. Uh, no type of swarming or anything like that There's a little bit of earthquake activity up here near Mount Lassen here in Northern California actually just south of the area, but a couple small micro quakes in and around the Chester area, uh, nothing big. Lower twos and a couple ones in there as well, um, but uh, nothing big popping up in that area. Taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe here, and this here is the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. Um, 2.5 and above, latest earthquake. Looks like it was a 4.3 down there around the South America region. Um, that was from the uh, the uh, European model. USGS states 4.4 uh, over here near Indonesia as the uh, most recent earthquake. And uh, relatively quiet once again here, folks, around the Pacific Ring of Fire. Um, Fiji showing lack of activity. Most of the activity right now confined over here to, towards the Indonesia Islands region with quite a few fours popping off relatively quiet activity as we head north towards Japan and up through the Aleutian Islands as well. Uh, most of this earthquake activity is relatively old and should be dropping off the globe here rather quickly. Um, other than that, we did have that uh, relatively large earthquake there. Well, it's been over 24 hours now. Let's see if I can bring this down a little bit here. Uh, or up, I should say. Let me see if I can find it and bring the mag magnitude there we go a 6.1 and uh where'd he go there we go okay i have to go back a little ways to get it but uh yeah in, in south america region there this here is uh roughly 48 hours ago or so um but since then it's been pretty quiet folks um bring this back down here to 2.5 um, and no new activity to report far as like major earthquake activity uh, on this beautiful blue planet that we live on. There is some interesting activity taking place once again in the real-time tremor detection department. Uh, and this has been ongoing for quite some time now. This here is just the last three hours of activity. And you can see most of it is in Northern California. Now to get a good perspective of what's going on here, we need to go back the last two days, 48 hours ago, in the trimmer uh, uh, readings here. As you know, or should know, if you watch past couple videos here in regards to the activity along the Cascadia subduction zone, we did see quite a bit of trimmer west of Seattle up here for about five days. Now they go through this period of activity where um, uh, instead of subducting the uh, plates, the plates up here kind of backtrack a little bit. Uh, so we had that going on for about five days and the activity seems to have shifted to the south um, now. Um, but this here is subducting activity. I don't believe it's associated with the activity that was going on up here west of Seattle. I uh, believe this is some newer subduction activity uh, trimmer being picked up in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone region. You can see here that there is quite a bit of activity, 19 hours of trimmer to be exact here on the real-time trimmer map. And looking at this here from a scale, you got this activity up here along the north part of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Absence of activity here. In Pause that real quick. I could have swore I turned that off, but maybe it didn't. Okay. Uh, anyway, absence of activity here in central Oregon and also northern Oregon as well. 
but down here in southern Oregon and northern California we see we're seeing uh, well some more trimmer and trimmer is a very slow earthquake uh, subduction earthquake um, you know it's not a uh, you know like I mentioned before I don't like using that word earthquake but it is kind of like a very very slow sliding of the plates um, in this region here in this in this area the North American plate and the Juan de Fuca plate here subducting underneath here um, so I see I, I think we're seeing a uh, a further increase up here folks um, you know you got to remember if this plate here is subducting to the north subducting to the south here well, what's going on up here continued blockage continue continued uh, stress up here in this area where I continue to mention about where we will see where uh, or actually where I believe we'll see um, the next Cascadia earthquake unzip up here uh, it may not be the entire system but uh, it, there's a lot of uh, scientists talking about this area just off the central coast of Oregon or within this region where we'll see the next big earthquake out here uh, along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone and this right here is just kind of backing up what I'm seeing here where we're seeing all this activity um, and lack of activity here in central Oregon uh, you know it's, it's subducting uh, it's a plate, you know, it's kind of probably boomeranging right now, you know, if, if I can use that word. But the stress up there is really, uh, it's really strong and it's uh, it's building up. Eventually we're going to have to uh, let that pressure go, right? Taking a look at the cr uh, crustal area up here, we're not seeing any type of crustal quakes going on. Let's go one day all magnitudes and we can pop in the map a little bit better uh, with some terrain views so, so we can see where we're at um, yeah so one day all right no crustal quakes going on up here by crustal I mean that no land quakes no adjustment um, to what's going on below here in the Cascadia subduction zone so uh, it's possible that we could see uh, surface quakes with uh, the activity that's occurring but um, so far we haven't, so we have to see what what's going to happen here uh, with this activity. So you know, it's just it's uh, <clears throat> beneficial to mention what's going on here, and to just always have an earthquake plan if you live up in this area. Um, as me being here in Northern California, I always try to be prepared uh, as best I can. You know, these folks up here in Oregon, I'm sure they're aware. Or should be aware of what uh, what could take place up here um, in the earthquake department and uh, um, tsunami if if a big one were to happen up here. Uh, you know, like I like I like I say, there's just there's subduction here to the south and north. I mean, but nothing nothing in between, and we see this time and time again. So continued stress being applied in this area once again today um, will it be you know will it continue like this for a while who knows um, we'll have to watch this very carefully and see what happens and uh, we'll just play it by ear we'll keep an eye on this region other than that, folks, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity. No, no major quakes to report out here. I do have a couple stations up here watching the Cascadia subduction zone region and also Yellowstone as well. Speaking of Yellowstone, let's go ahead and check out that map. I haven't even seen it yet. Uh, Yellowstone overview shows a little bit of earthquake activity here around Madison River. Famous for earthquake swarms. Now... Just a couple small quakes there. You can see that one there in the red and also a couple down here as well. Those earthquakes showing up on other stations as well. Uh, probably puts a magnitude roughly around a 2 or so, 2.5 possibly, with uh, it being shown up on the other stations here. Uh, Norris Junction also showing a little bit of independent earthquake activity, separate and, uh, like I said, independent from... The activity that's occurring there in Madison River so uh, no swarming 
definitely no swarming activity going on. Uh, no magma movement. No uh, <laughs> nothing to worry about at the moment. I did post an article on my Facebook page from the uh, folks at the uh, oh uh, shoot I can't remember the USGS volcano site uh, stating about the. Uh, you know, panic that some people tend to cause out there saying that Yellowstone's overdue for an earthquake um, but uh, anyway read the article check it out uh, it is on my Facebook page here the Earth Master a really good read if you get a chance to read it uh, so nothing nothing major going on at Yellowstone folks it's doing what it's always been doing and uh, it will continue to do that until it wants to uh, awaken which hopefully won't be for quite a while. Uh, in the meantime, folks, I'm going to jump off here for a little bit and relax, eat some dinner, and uh, probably call it a night here real soon. A little earthquake activity. Well, as I mentioned there, Seattle, Washington there. A little bit of... This is surface quaking here. It's really close to the surface, although the USGS has not shown any type of uh, readings from, from any of these stations here around Washington no no uh, what I mean is no earthquakes have been uh, recorded which is kind of strange uh, Mendocino California here in Northern California along the coast Cascadia subduction zone little spike of an earthquake there so we'll see I've been having kind of this overwhelming tiredness feeling today just dragging I cannot wake up there's nothing I've done I mean I've Got plenty of sleep last night. It's just, just tired, just drained. Like uh, I can't explain it. Um, it's not the weather. It's not depression. It's just uh, I just can't put my finger on it right now. But uh, who knows? It could just be the. It could be. Uh, well, I don't know. I'll just have to see how I wake up tomorrow. Maybe it'll be a better day. Either way, uh, I'm out of here. We'll catch you folks another time, another day. And uh, stay safe out there. Make sure you stock up on the necessities just in case. Water. Canned food, of course, is always a good thing. Heck, even Top Ramen noodles make uh, some good backup emergency food. Uh, main thing, water, food, TP, uh, gas. I mean, gas is always a good thing. Always keep uh, plenty of gas on hand for storage, uh, just in case. Um, you know, necessities, folks. Because there won't be no internet. There won't be any telephone lines. Stores will be closed. Gas stations will be gone. When the big one hits up here in the Pacific Northwest, that's a fact. Peace out, folks. Have a good night. We're out of here.